What we know from the BitMart statement about tokenomics, there was liquidity given back to the SafeMoon team to be added back to the liquidity pool that never actually happened. Instead, we see all this money go to the gay wallet from BitMart. And we have no idea where that comes from, right? Where is all this, these millions of dollars coming into the gay wallets and his associated wallets? We also have evidence that this is pro- probably John's personal uh, wealth. I mean, I don't know if you're still trying to dispute that or not, but we know that John's mom is saying he invested $5 million of his personal money. He's got millions of dollars of real estate money. I mean, where are you trying to say this came from? Because we know John didn't like purchase a bunch of safe moon before and that's where all his money went. All we have is the records of BitMart. Suddenly he has millions of dollars. Where do you think this money came from? Look at the BitMart volume from those days. Like, like look at how high it was. Like in some days, supposedly it was up to like one day it was up to like 150 million. So like 10% of that would have been 15 million on a single day alone. So some of the money that came out just seems extremely low if, if all of it was straight up just going to John's pockets. It's hard to say because centralized exchanges oftentimes fluff their numbers to try to make themselves look more authentic. So it's always mm-hmm. hard to trust, like how much do you trust their volume numbers anyways? I'm not trying to tell them they're lying. I'm not even trying to claim that every single dollar that went to BitMart went into John's pocket. I'm saying even if you assume that some fraction of the dollars that was supposed to be for the community goes into John's pockets and he ends up a millionaire, that can't make sense from an investor standpoint because you know that that money came from the LP, which is supposed to be for investors. So that would be fraud. And there's just sort of no way around it. Like you have to provide a plausible reason that how John got the money that is a better explanation than what I could give, right? Because there's a very clear path from the evidence that I provide to John having millions of dollars, but there's no clear path from like John's innocent to having millions of dollars suddenly. I've given you an explanation for how John got his millions of dollars. It came from the BitMart deal and all that, which came from the LP as we know. You haven't given me a plausible explanation of how he could have legally gotten this money in a way that is not fraudulent. But running a market-making account does provide some sorts of profits and the volume is very high for those several months. I don't know. That would be remotely close to how much was pulled out. I know Papa said that they made money on the market making account. But we can't trust Papa because he didn't even understand the deal. His account directly contradicts what Bitmar tells me, right? I have a question though. If they were doing, did you say 150 million in volume on on Bitmart at a point? Is that what you said? On on one day, on one day. Okay. Okay, The highest point, yeah. Okay, so let's say they did even 50 million for a while, like a month or two or whenever it was popping off. Yeah. We were told that part of the money that was coming back was going to be from BitMart back to the DEX, right? Like that was the whole point. I don't believe that wording. I don't believe the word DEX was ever, DEX or PancakeSwap was ever mentioned. No, no, because I was a a moderator at the time and we were were told that like the one of the things to fight FUD because everyone was like basically freaking out because BitMart had no tokenomics was yeah. that tokenomics was going to be put in place and yeah. that yeah. basically the the amount of reflections or whatever were going to be coming back to everyone else and that the tax for the LP part of it was going to come back, right? So we were told all of that. We were told to tell people that. I don't have proof for that, so that's yeah. just my word. Like, oh, I, can't, yeah. I can't prove it. Say you have, you know, on average $50 million of volume for a certain amount of time. That's quite a lot of money. That could be going back in reflections to the other holders or back into the LP. And and being that safe moon will fluff up not like the, the littlest thing that's unimportant, like like a freaking dark mode moon pay screen. If they were actually injecting a ton of money back into the LP or back into, you know, reflections through BitMart like they'd promised, they'd be sharing the transactions. They'd be like, hell yeah, look at all this money we're giving you guys. So, like, that's where I don't really buy, you know, the theory that it wasn't happening or that there was that much money going through there. John wasn't getting money from it. Right. So I would definitely, if you could look into that and see where you were told specifically to be returned to the decks, BitMart. Dude, I mean, dude, I, everyone's I read that. was a safe yeah. room mod like a year and a half ago. Right. And I didn't screenshot shit because I believed in safe moon. Like I wasn't sitting there and I'm not in the discord. I'm not in mod chats anymore. I can't, I yeah. can't access any of that. So. You know, if any of that was in the public discord from anyone official on the team. So I mean, again, if, if could, anyone has that stuff, could, I think it'd be great for them to come out. Look back at like, I mean, potentially, 
potentially like I guess I don't know if my messages delete when I was in there but I think like all of us mods back at that time if someone could go back I'm banned so if right. someone could go back and like search for things but like that was the message the mod team was saying when when the bitmark was reflection like, can I just jump in here real quick because I think we yeah. need to f drill down on one thing which is that look even if you assume SafeMoon is making all this money on their market making account right sure. which we don't have Evidence I don't know more. if that's possible, but, but, but yes, let's just say it's possible, right? Sure. That still doesn't that just gets you to SafeMoon having a lot of money themselves. It still doesn't get you to John having five oh. million dollars in June. So, as a seventy-five percent owner of a company, you're entitled to seventy-five percent of the profits. So, if that was considered profits, you can say it should have been, should uh, or not. But if it was, then John got seventy-five percent of what was earned, that, let's just say the market making account is how they made money. Um, and so therefore, nothing too bad there. 75% of that came to John. Wait, wait, wait. We're talking, about, we're, we're talking about we're talking about June real quick, right? Well, if it's from a market making account, we said, we're just sake of argumenting here. If it was, that's profits. Now, if he took that 5 million, he was trying to more or less reinvest at least a good amount of it back into SafeMoon. Unfortunately, with the ECG thing with his mother, they, they've been hiring people, paying people. Someone got paid to develop the wall. You can say it's trash and you don't like it, but someone got paid for that. Can, can I say Some something of the money is clearly going back into the project. Um, but Wouldn't it be if it had been to... a market maker? It would have been a slam dunk on CoffeeZilla and all the futters of, look, look, you guys are idiots. It wasn't the liquidity pool. It was the market maker, and we did it fair, right. Fair well, the fact that they withhold that just does not seem to fit. I prefer to believe kind of BitMart on this whole thing. And when it's supposed to be directly distributed back to the liquidity pool, I think that's a pretty clear meaning. You have a market making account and you have yeah. a liquidity pool. Those are very, two very different things. I mean, I know you're not, uh, you're saying that, oh, they're not talking about like you're, they're talking about the decks, but literally there, there wasn't a thing called, oh, it's go to the liquidity pool. It was always called the market maker in centralized finance. All of a sudden decentralized finance comes out. Everyone talks about liquidity pools. So how do you think it could be referring to anything else? Because liquidity pool for a centralized exchange is a market maker account. No, no, no. By no, no, they could have said market that, maker. Right? You're right. You're right. They could have, if that's what it was for, they could have more clearly said, distribute, it's given back to the team to be added to the market maker account, which is a liquidity pool for a centralized exchange. It provides a liquidity, essentially. Could it have produced the kind of profits that we're seeing? I have no idea. Son, the liquidity the is going to be horrible. To the, right? the information that Coffee put out, did they react as if, what an idiot, he got all this wrong? And we could easily shut this down and stop our community from being at each other's throats. Why would they not just say it was the bit more like that? Why tell us that if it was such a, a simple answer that I mean, they didn't respond in any way, shape or form at all. Like there was not a positive or negative response. They just they did, though. John put out, a, but John put out a little like uh, a little picture or whatever he's saying. Like, <laughs> I'm aware that there's a lot of FUD going on in the community and I'm going to choose yeah, not to respond to it. He said he's yeah, from the Matrix. You forgot yeah, about that. That was the big Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. All right, go ahead. Hey, go ahead. yeah, um, I just wanted to basically answer a question. They were asking about BitMart uh, market making fees and, and such. So basically, I have a coin list on BitMart, so I can basically tell you the, the market making fees. So basically, it's called special VIP for people who have coins on BitMart market making. And it's basically, it's actually a negative fee, so we get paid by BitMart themselves from market making fees so we have basically a maker fee of negative 0.001 and we have a taker fee of 0.04 so there is a slight fee on the taker side as for the market making side bitmart themselves actually don't have a market maker you have to go to a third uh, service market maker and basically pay them to provide them for their services and bitmart basically has like requirements you have to meet to basically meet the standards of bitmart's market making so you have to go to the market maker provide them with around like Twenty to fifty thousand dollars in liquidity, and they'll market make for you. But Bitmart doesn't actually provide any market making. So what happened is SafeMoon did deal with one of the third party market makers. They basically just told Bitmart to comply to basically allow these transactions to basically go through to this fee pool. You know how reflections work on SafeMoon. But everything that happened was by a third party market maker. And basically, if you just search like market making services for projects on Google, there's a bunch, and you can see ones that support Bitmart's exchange. But yeah, Bitmart they put like extortionate. Uh, basic like market making uh, practices. So you need to have like they. I think they updated them now because basically what what these coins do 
is basically a bit more they like to have really high and uh market making requirements so they basically get rankings up on like coin gecko and coin market cap so by putting these like really crazy uh requirements like a hundred thousand dollars in trading volume it's most of it's artificial like with safe moon like most of safe moon's volume was done by um market makers and actually you just basically inflate bitmart's um trading volume so they get these higher ranks on coin gecko and i think when safe moon first came on bitmart uh bitmart went to like a top nine spot in the top nine exchanges so basically, that's essentially how BitMart works. They basically BitMart makes most of his money from market making. Actually, uh, depending on how good your connections are in BitMart, you can get better or worse deals, right? Like for instance, I know people who don't have to meet BitMart's market making requirements at all, right? And then there's some like coins that don't know anyone in BitMart whatsoever. They have to meet their twenty thousand dollars in trading volume per day, their five percent bid ask spread, their two percent bid ask spread, and so forth. But basically, they just have to meet set requirements, and these set requirements are carried out by third party market makers. Focus on the main point we've learned here today, which is actually that we just got proof to me that this whole sham story about it all being market making fees is obviously a crock. And it always has been a crock because the truth is, is that they weren't making money from these market making fees. It sounds like they had to at least pay BitMart or some some deal that they clearly weren't making money because that's how BitMart makes money is market making. So the reality is whatever, whatever you want to believe, wh whatever you want to believe about, you know, market making, not market making, even if they were market making, they weren't making money because they're going th through some third party and BitMart has standard deals where people are taking a negative um, deal on it. They're not actually making money from it. So that's the reality of the situation. So back to the question, Champion of Sun, what do you have to say about that? Assuming it's true, let's just, let's just go with the idea that this guy is being truthful and that this really was Safe Moon's deal. Now, is there any explanation for how John Caroni could have had millions of dollars? Or do we have to conclude, like most of us have, that he stole the money? Um, I think we got some pretty incredible evidence here. Here, I, I just feel like we need to, once again, turn back to it and address it, which is... Yeah. Sure. You just got the most firsthand evidence where I know you're talking about like primary sources, but we couldn't have a more primary source right now than somebody who literally has spoken to SafeMoon's market makers and been on BitMart himself with the market maker.